All right, now let's talk a bit about the all new chipset made by Qualcomm for Samsung's Galaxy S23 series. Now that the S23 series has been launched, one of the best things to happen is the availability of Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset across the globe, unlike the previous Gen S series phones, which always got Snapdragon chips in some regions and in most other regions, Samsung's own infamous Exynos chips. It's always been a disappointment for a lot of people who got the Exynos chips on their phones for some of the other reasons. However, this time, every Every device is getting the Snapdragon chip and what's more exciting is the fact that this is not a regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 which is on most of the other Android phones. This is a custom made chip from Qualcomm for Samsung. So what's so special about this brand new custom chip? Qualcomm has modified the CPU as well as GPU clock speeds on this chip which boosts the performance making it a faster chip than the regular one. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy has an increased primary clock speed from 3.2 GHz to 3.36 GHz and an increased GPU clock speed from 680 MHz to 719 MHz. And that's not it. This chip also offers a better image signal processing for improved image and video quality. Now while this offers better performance, this apparently is more power efficient which is just brilliant. Now this power efficiency may not be entirely due to this chip's ability. This is certainly coupled with Samsung's new and improved bigger vapor chamber cooling systems which are on the S23 series. So yes, definitely there is a step up when it comes to performance and efficiency when compared to any other regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipsets on the other phone. Different sources are also mentioning that the battery performance of the S23 series is much better than the predecessors, the S22 Ultra and same goes with the regular S23 series phone as well. If you remember the Galaxy S22 Ultra came with 5000 mAh battery and there is no change on the S23 Ultra as well. It's the same 5000 mAh battery we have but with this more efficient chipset and bigger vapor chamber cooling system we should be able to get a better battery performance here. Now at the moment I'm awaiting my S23 Ultra. As soon as I get it I will do a real life battery test results on it and let you know the screen on time so stay tuned for some amazing contents on the S23 series and also on the all new One UI 5 .1. Speaking about One UI 5.1, there are some cool features which are being added in this iteration and we can expect the same to hit the predecessors like the Galaxy S22 series, 21 series etc very soon. So stay tuned for your updates as well. That is all I wanted to share with you guys in this video. You let me know what do you think about this all new chipset. Share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below and while you do that, be sure you subscribe to the channel to know your phone better. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye bye.